Jason connectors are just the greatest, aren't they? Yes, they're amazing. <laughs> the laughter and sisterhood of these very smart girls makes you want to learn more. They're members of G-Force Robotics, preparing for a world championship competition in Houston. That's where they'll face more teams of young STEM enthusiasts. Common goal, build a robot that can respond intelligently to remote commands. And I'm also doing the handoff in the middle so that the ring can actually shoot out. And in this group... There are 12 girls from 10 different schools in the area. Ages, they're all in high school, most are sophomore to senior. Robotics is a great outlet for those that are both interested in robotics directly and for those looking to build up leadership and marketing skills. They design, built, and control robots like the one they call Hellcat. Inspired by fighter jets, it's a name that honors one of their sponsors, Caterpillar. For some reason, they trust me to drive this thing. <laughs> Reckless driver, right? <laughs> Listen instead to a team member with years of experience. I originally started in First Lego League, which is the middle school to elementary school level. And from there, we moved up into the FRC level, which is First Robotics Competition. Ooh. Oh, I think you're over. I think you're over. Guided as they prepare for world competition by mentors. Oh, these are the these are the This is my eighth year um, in First Robotics. Uh, the science skills actually translate very well. The hands-on, the problem solving all applies. And it's something where not everybody becomes an engineer, but certainly helps in STEM. So with bright futures awaiting. I plan on going into game design. My plan B is going to the Naval Academy to hopefully become a pilot. But I do still want to keep up with robotics and hopefully do maybe battle bots in the future. Next up, the competition in Texas. We'll have an update next week. Reporting from Johnston County, Anthony Wilson, ABC 11 Eyewitness News.